Now, while the Honor Pad 8 has been out for almost two years now, I thought I'd give it a little standalone video just to see how it fares playing a little bit of games, as this is still readily available from Argos and Amazon here in the UK. So we're just going to have a quick look on Asphalt 9, Need for Speed No Limits, and then some fighting game that I've just randomly downloaded just to see how it works. I'm not a big heavy gamer, so there's not going to be any Genshin Impact or PUBG Mobile or anything like that on this video. But yeah, we'll just see how it fares with a few basic games with that Snapdragon 680 inside. Let's take a look. Okay, so the first video we're going to try out is Need for Speed No Limits. I tend to find this as a game that's not the most graphic intense. I find that Asphalt 9 has a little bit more strain on the processing of these tablets. So Need for Speed, I think, is a good start. Just see how long it takes to load. Not too bad. I mean, obviously I don't have anything side by side to compare it to, but it wasn't too bad. Bump up the speakers. It is gonna take me through a few things that I've got to skip, so just bear with when that happens. So the Pad 8 is using the Snapdragon 680, which is a pretty entry level chip found in a quite a few phones that I've tested in the past. And it seems to have worked pretty well with the exception of the, the Galaxy A05S, which I did find a bit of a stuttery mess. But overall, so far for me and my everyday use on the Pad 8 hasn't been too bad. So that's the first example, not bad. So if it'll let me do it again. These are the bits that I just need to get rid of, hopefully. All I wanna do is just race. So leave me alone. But overall, these graphics don't look too bad on this tablet, to be fair, and they look decent on the 12-inch display. It is noticeably a lower quality display than the Pad 9, which I have also done a little, a similar gaming test on, as I have with this one. Get out of my way. That was better. On my Pad 9 video, I absolutely stuck to that bit and made a right mess. Right, are we done? Yes, right. Let's just close that off and open Asphalt 9 and give this one a go. See how long this takes to load. Play that, just skip through these bits. Birth of a legend in San Francisco. We'll see if my attempt is legendary or if it's an absolute load of rubbish. Are we ready? Yes, I'm holding. Apparently it didn't like me registering that. It 
Doesn't seem to be handling it too bad. Boom. So that wasn't too bad on asphalt nine. And the last attempt is on, on Shadow Fight 3, which is something I just sort of randomly downloaded just to switch it up a little bit. I'm not a heavy gamer, so I don't play Genshin Impact or PUBG or Call of Duty or anything like that. So this is the extent of my gaming if I do do any. So just after a little bit of a setting up, let's see if I... And this is exactly why I don't play games, because I have no idea what I'm doing. I am no good at all. And apparently I still won. So, that's just a three game test on the pad eight. So overall in that little gaming test, I think the Honor Pad 8 fared pretty well. Despite my complete lack of gaming abilities, the Snapdragon 680 in the pad eight did a pretty good job. The only noticeable thing that I found is the obviously detail levels on the screen because it's a lower res display from the newer pad nine. But overall that didn't really detract from the gaming experience I found on this tablet in my short use with it. So overall, if you're gonna do some light gaming, the 680 and the Pad 8 is gonna be absolutely fine. If you're gonna be doing something like Genshin Impact, PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty with some really high frame rates, you're gonna get plenty of stutters from this tablet. But like I said, for light gaming, this is absolutely fine. But let me know down in the comments what you think of the Pad 8. Is it something that you would consider buying almost two years after it was released? And I'll see you in the next video.